Hi, and welcome to this video on Python Rich. Within this video, I'm going to show you two features of the Rich project that I use on a day to day basis. Now, the Python Rich project, those of you that have not seen it before or used it, is a Python library for printing rich text and enhancing the, the output of your Python programs within the terminal. So it does things such as printing the output in a colorized based format, printing your output into tables, allows you to print out emojis, enhance the output of your Python logs, progress bars, literally a whole ton of different things. So it's a very, very feature rich library. So to install rich, you do pip install rich like so. Now I've already got this installed. So I'll dive into the two examples that I wanted to show you. So the first thing that we will do is I wanted to show you how to colorize your Python output. So to do this, we do the rich import print and to keep this separate to the um, existing Python print, I just import this as our print. Now what we can do is we can now use tags for our colors to be able to print out the, the output. So like so, use red. And what we can also use, we can also use emojis. So we can do, we can add emojis via the um, double colons here. So this is great for network automation when you want to print out and you want to say whether things have passed or failed, but adds a lot of clarity to, to your output. So to figure out what emoji codes are supported by Rich and what's available, you can go into the Rich repo like so, click in the Rich directory, and there is an emoji codes Python library. And then so we can then we can go through these and see what's what's available. So the next thing I wanted to show you is Rich Inspect. So Inspect allows us to look at the attributes of a object and it, and it visualizes and prints it out in a really nice way. So this is really useful. So if you're just first starting out with a new Python library and you want to figure out what's what you've got within that within a Python object to work with, this is a really, really good way of, of doing that. So, so first of all, we do an import for rich inspect, and then we can look at the object. So in this case, I've already run Scrapply and I've already got a response object back like so. So what we can do is we can just simply run inspect and give it the object. And then as you can see, this gives us all of the different attributes within the object available to us. So we now know that we can use one of these one of these attributes much like this. So I hope you found that useful. That wraps up this video. If you want to learn more about network automation, then head over to packetcoders.io. If you want to get all the latest news, hacks, tips and tricks delivered directly to your mailbox every single week, then sign up to our newsletter over at packetcoders.io forward slash newsletter. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.